We've already affected more than 95% of the coral reefs of the coast. Well, doesn't this just ruffle your feathers? Well, say something. Well, fine. Hey, a groovy place. I've never been in here before, and this is far out. I'm Dylan Dreamboat with Dreamboat Surfing Tours, and I came to invite you. I know who you are, Dylan. We went to school together. Drop the whole 60 surfer to ask. Remember our 10th grade biology? You dropped your pencil, and I picked it up for you. And then you winked at me. <laughs> and then you never said anything else to me. I remember that you looked yesterday. Do you? Chum. <laughs> I mean, yes, I remember. You were in that Keep the Sea Plastic Free shirt. <laughs> I was. <sighs> Which is precisely why you have to stop those rock and reef cruises. And how far are we supposed to anchor from the reef? And the type of booty you should be using? And the proper sunscreen to wear when we're going in the water? And you know how many years it takes to grow coral? Actually, thousands of years. years! Do you know anything about proper reef etiquette? Your lack of concern is unbelievable! Whoa, 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 Coral. I came here as a friend, not as an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> an enemy! <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I came off too strong before. I'm just really passionate about saving our coral reefs for generations to come. They clean and save our water. They're like the rainforest of the ocean. That is why we are here. Here at the Coral Rescue Center, we're currently caring for thousands of colonies of coral. Many people don't even realize how much we depend on coral reefs for food, income, and protection. The reefs are very fragile and vulnerable to diseases and changes in our world, just like us. But these are so small. Yes, it always starts small. Just like a one drop of water being close to the river. My grandfather used to say that. Would you like to go on a quick trip? I can show you the mysteries and wonders of our coral reefs. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Go change your view by moving forward. Can you see if it is? <sighs> no, Virgil. I don't need a wingman. I know. He's so dreamy. <laughs>
Would you check out that view? I gotta bring the Rocket Reef Cruises out this way tonight. Gonna be off the point break. <laughs> oh, but seriously, where is she? Well, Dreamboat, looks like the tide is high and you're all alone. Bigger boat. <laughs> it's um, from that famous shark movie. You've seen it, right? Oh no. I don't like watching movies that villainize sea life creatures for defending their natural habitats from intruders within their ecosystems. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chase. Dylan, what did we talk about with the whole surfer group stick? Totally not necessary. Alright, fair enough. I guess it's just become second nature, you know? Sometimes it feels like I'm trying to live up to the legacy my grandfather left. Well, you're out here making a difference. Well, I'm stuck in a legacy I'm never, ever going to live up to. And, and I wish that there was something else out there. Something greater. Something... <laughs> okay, Dream Boat. Let's take it down a nod or two. Take a deep breath. And remember what your grandfather always said. <laughs>
I mean big changes, exciting changes, life changing changes. Oh. <laughs> but we have to grow our business responsibly while we protect and preserve. The future of the coral reef is essential to the survival of our environment. And I know just the person to help. Oh, really? Yeah, someone who's always been there and no one has ever noticed. Someone who truly cares about making this a better place for all of us. I just have to ask him first. Oh, sir! <laughs> coral? <laughs> Because at the end of the day, we're better together. We're better together. That's the 